Liftoff was a Cornish dream. Cosmic Girl carrying aloft the UK's ambition to be a space-faring nation. Under its wing, a rocket carrying nine satellites. And out over the Atlantic, its engines fired. It looks to be a successful ignition. A perfect launch. But then, from the edge of space came the message, Nuki, we have a problem. Welcome back, everyone. Uh, it appears that Launcher 1 has suffered an anomaly, which will prevent us from making orbit for this mission. Back at Cornwall Spaceport, the news was broken to a devastated team. Something went wrong with the rocket's engine, and it never quite made it into orbit. The team did a phenomenal job, but we had an issue, and we're going to find out what went wrong, and we're going to fix it. Two and a half thousand people came to watch the first satellite launch from Western Europe. But the fizz went flat. I feel gutted for them. They put in all that hard work and it's just not come to fruition, has it? I'm a bit like disappointed because it didn't get up, get up all the way. Spaceport Cornwall proved it can launch rockets from a normal airport and it will try again. But disappointment first time around is hard. Awful. <laughs> to be honest, I'm not going to lie. It's, it, was, it was just like, it was gutting. It was all, we all heard at different times. Um, so once we kind of all got together, there were tears, um, and it was very upsetting. Only the United States builds more satellites than Britain. Determination to have a UK launch base in Cornwall, and later this year, Scotland, is undimmed. Around 100,000 satellites are expected to be launched globally by the end of the decade. This is about trying to capture some of that market. UK spaceports could add £3.8 billion to the economy over the next eight years. But space is hard. Success far from guaranteed.